what's going on you guys it's your girl day welcome welcome back to my channel y'all today y'all already know what's going down today i am blowing on my hair and i'm super 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 excited i don't even think you guys understand i only blow out my hair probably like twice a year only time you guys will see me blow out my hair on this channel or maybe like do I don't know, something really, really cute as if there's a special event coming up or maybe like a special holiday. I'm just so excited because I haven't stretched my hair since... Let's, let's scroll on Instagram because I'm going to tell you guys right now when was the last time that I blew out my hair. Let's see. Last time I blew out my hair was March 16th, 2021. So it's been a couple of months. Um, it's been a very, very long time and I'm really excited to see my length. I'm excited to trim my ends because that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be blowing out my hair and trimming my ends because as you guys know, in my previous videos, all I kept saying was, oh my God, I need to trim my ends, I need to trim my ends, I need to trim my ends. And I don't want y'all to get annoyed with me like, Dale, why aren't you trimming your ends? Maybe I'm doing it here today. So, we're going to be blowing out my hair. I have my Revlon. This is Revlon, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have my Revlon blow dryer right here. I had this for a while. I use it all the time. I really, really love it. I also have my heat primer by Pantene. It is a thermal heat protectant. Helps protect hair up to 450 degrees. I have a little bit in here, but I still I have a good amount for my hair. So I feel like I'll be good. Um, I also have my leave-in spray from Carol's Daughter. This is the black vanilla kind. And then I also have my As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I typically use the leave-in conditioner... Um, and I believe in the cow's daughter, or do I just use this in the heat protectant? I'm not really too sure. But I don't have much of this in the bottle, which is why I grabbed this spray. And I also grabbed the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. As you guys may know, this is my favorite. My favorite leave-in conditioner so far. I used it. I fell in love with it. Very, very hydrating. So I think just in case the Jamaican Black Castle Oil Leave-In Conditioner runs out, um, I will use the TGIN. And we're going to... Put this side up in a scrunchie, just like, just like this. Nothing too tight though, let's put it a little loose. So by the time this video comes out, you guys will see my prep with me for blowing out my hair. So just in case you guys have any questions on how I prep my hair, Wow, I sounded mad Caribbean just now. That was so random. <laughs> How I prep my hair before um, a blowout, then you guys can go check that out. I'm pretty sure it's on my channel by now. But this is about the size that I would typically do um, when it comes time for me to blow dry my hair. I might, I want my hair to be as straight as possible, um, but I also want it to blow dry very well. So I think I might just cut it in half like this. My t-shirt here that I use to dry my head. So I think I might use it again to just get a little bit of the extra water out. Then I am going to apply my spray first, my leave-in spray. So I'm just going to apply a little bit because you don't want your hair to be too damp. Um, that's one thing when it comes to blowing out your hair. So let's just add a little. That should be good. Let's work that in. Going with my As I Am leave-in conditioner, you know, just a little good amount to your hair, just like this. And then we're going to follow in with the heat protectant. Now with the heat protectant, I like to focus on my ends, so I would spray one, two, and then I get on my hair, one, two, one, two. And then I work that in, all right? Work that in, work that in, work that in. Then I would detangle my hair just a little bit. Detangle it. Just a little, not too much. And pretty much my hair is detangled already, so that's that. And now we're going to head into the fun part. And we're going to go ahead and plug our blow dryer in. Because I know you guys won't be able to hear me over the dryer. But first, I like to heat my hair like this um just to make sure it's getting blow dried and stuff like that um and then i will go in with it on my hair exactly you don't want to put this exactly on your hair right away you just want to make sure you stretch your hair and blow dry it a little bit before you go straight on with this so i'm just giving you guys a little tip you know some people they just go straight in some people they have a different routine but this is just mine and how i prefer it
So you see how now that it is a little bit stretched, now that's when we can go in with the comb on our head. But I'm going to go in with low heat. Got some hands. So for the most part, my hair is pretty much blow dried a little bit. I still have like over here to blow dry, but for the most part, it doesn't feel bad. But y'all see how this is happening? My ends need to be cut. So I'm very, very excited. You see this? I was getting stuck here. Bad. So I'm very, very excited. Y'all see, see that? Not good. So I'm really, really excited to um, try my ends. But, we're gonna keep doing this routine. I'm gonna do half of my head, show you guys what it's looking like, and yeah, so let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so I blew out, what is this, the left side of my hair. This is what it's looking like. Honestly, I can definitely say that the front of my head has gotten longer um, for the most part. I think I might go in after to really separate it in pieces and blow dry because it's still a little, it's a little thick and a little hard to get through for the most part. It's looking pretty good, pretty thick. Um, I can't wait to stretch my hair or like see everything for the full length check. But my hair is feeling good so far. I just need to really go in and blow out the roots specifically because, like I said, my hair is so thick. Um, but yeah, pretty much. All right, guys, so I just finished blowing out the front and the other half of my head. If you guys see some, like, something right here, it's because my skin is peeling, but I told you I'll be done around 1 o'clock. It is currently 12.50 on the dot. So let me take out this clip right here. Shake this a little bit. Y'all. Whew, baby, that took. I am tired but this is what my hair is looking like right now let me see in the mirror okay got a little lint to it the body of the hair is there which is what i was really really looking for but look at that i feel like i look like my mom <laughs> nah this is really fab y'all see the ends need to be trimmed I forgot I need to trim my ends, but I'm, I need to take an eat and break. This is what my hair is looking like. I think I'm going to go back in and just blow dry it again a second time for the roots. 
um but pretty much baby the body baby hold on now hold on now <sighs> i'm so excited y'all but definitely my hair is gonna go even more this year because i'm gonna trim my ends and trimming ends promotes growth so baby my hair is fab Ah, oh, I love when my hair is blow dried. Like it just feels wow. Like the body. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. Ah, I'm so excited, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> about to take an eating break, and then I'm gonna come back so we can go over this one more time. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. For the most part, my edges have grown. I know they look like they haven't, but my edges have grown. Do it right now. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go over my hair one more time and then trim it because I feel like if I go over it one more time and then trim it, it'll be better that way. And I'm really, really hungry, so let's go eat and then I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, so I just finished eating. It's 2 05 right now and I'm about to trim my hair. I remember I told you guys I was going to blow up my hair again, then trim it. But I think I might just leave it like this and probably re blow it after I trim it. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this beautiful crown right here this little pretty thing on top of my head um first things first my hair's already split down in the middle so that's pretty much good i'm gonna put this in a scrunchie a nice little scrunchie right there and then i have my scissors you can get these from your local beauty supply store i got this from my local beauty supply store I have my tail comb my hair so I can go in finer with my hair so I make sure that I'm cutting my hair even. Um, and then I have my wide tooth comb right here that I will be combing through first and then going in with the tail comb and then snipping off my hair. So what we're going to do first is we're going to part my hair in the back straight across. All right, let's put this up. And then this is pretty much like a good section right here. But what I like to do is I like to part that section in half and then put this up. And then I will go in and I would snip this. So going to my wide tooth comb first. First things first, wide tooth comb, right? Let's do this first. Then I'm going to go in with my tail comb. I'm going to start from the bottom because I know my ends are a little bit shabby. So I'm going to start from the bottom and make my way up. Make sure I am fully detangling my hair. That's the tip right there. Make sure you are fully detangling your hair so you can get more of an even cut. And I would follow through just like this. And go like that, and then here. So, you guys see how right here it's a little bit shabby, right? Not not good, dry. This is exactly what you would want to cut. I mean, you can go a little bit lower and maybe just cut that off, but that's exactly what I will be cutting. So, let me go over this again. And I'm going to cut it downwards, not upwards, so. Go over this one more time. Yes. So basically, I'm right here. Right here, we'll do it. So we're going to cut off. Snip. Snip. There we go. And there we go. We have it. A more even piece of hair. Y'all see that? Now that's way better. This is exactly what I'm gonna do with the rest of my hair. Um, since I parted this in half, this is a small little piece right here. I'm gonna go in and make my way up. Snip. Now see how hair, I don't know if you guys can fully see, but how hair is down and hair is grown out. That's exactly what you wanna cut. So you would cut that, just like that. And you see how even it is? So yeah. I know a couple of people have asked me how do I trim my hair um, and stuff like that. So if you are watching it, then this is exactly how I trim my hair. I don't really trim it too crazy, um, but I also do want it to be healthy and even. So, yeah. 
you don't want to keep cutting up keep cutting off you just want to cut off what is dead you know what i'm saying because in order for your hair to grow you know you gotta cut them dead ends off you know they are the oldest part of your hair so just keep that in mind so i'm gonna put this on here so i know that this is exactly what i trim so i don't go back and retrim more than i need to so yeah y'all that's my routine i'm about to go ahead and continue to trim my hair in little sections um it might take a while but it'll be worth it at the end and it'll definitely be worth it when your hair grows <laughs> trust me All right guys, so I just finished trimming my hair and blowing it out again. And these are basically the finished results. Um, typically I would go in with the oil, so I am gonna go in with my melanin hair oil. I'm just gonna put a, like literally a drop in the middle of my head and then I'm going to put a few drops in my palm, not a lot. Mix it up and just pass it throughout my hair. Ooh, my ear pops. Pass it throughout my hair just like that. And that's pretty much it for my routine. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post bell notification to get notified every single time a girl day uploads a video. And don't forget to follow me on my main social media account at Hairzaya, that's H-A-I-R-S-D-I-Y-A. The link is always in our description box and the name is always on the screen, baby. So go click that. And without further ado, I am going to see you pretty, pretty, pretty young, fine ladies and gentlemen that's watching this <laughs> later. So bye. Love you guys.